What's up comic creators? Peter here. So um, I'm going to make a quick tutorial video. This is how to really edit a document uh, within Mac. Uh, this will show you how to do typing uh, and add stuff in since we're all working from home anyways. Uh, this is a good thing to have and then also I'll show you how to do signature. So uh, you're going to want to edit the document through the preview functionality within Mac. Uh, you can do command spacebar to search for that and I'm just going to edit this um, tax document here that I completed earlier on in the year. And so basically what we're going to do um, is we're going to go ahead and go up to the top right hand corner. You click on the little marker and then that gives you your editing options. You can click on the little T box that drops down this little text box. You can grab a hold of it, move it around. You can expand the text box. You can obviously double click on the text and type in what you want to write, like your name, all that kind of stuff. Uh, really good functionality here it allows you to actually edit a document without uh, having to you know print it out and then scan it back into the computer and you know obviously you can move it around and do whatever you need to do with it if you want to change the font size change the font itself the little a button up there you click it down and you can change the size of the text then you can expand the box to keep it straight if you don't want it to stack on top of each other um, in that little A drop down option too, you can also, you know, change the centering, the positioning, you can change the color, you can change the style. Um, there's really a lot of options here <laughs> to where, unless you need fresh ink on it, you'll never have to print it out. So this next function is really cool. So next to the T box in that little drop down menu, you have this little uh, signature looking drop down option. If you click that, you'll have all your stored signatures there and you can create a signature and that turns on your computer camera and there I am waving at you yep uh, being nice and then you just write your signature on a piece of paper nice and big hold it up to the camera and it actually scans your signature into the computer and flips it around to be facing the correct way and you just click done and then boom you have your signature right in there you click it and you have a box menu that drops down your signature uh, that really helped uh, my business uh, because I didn't have to waste time printing stuff out anymore. I have my signature right in there. It looks nice. You paste it right into the document. And then if you need to remove anything, like if you made a mistake, you would just click on the box, whether it's the text or signature, click edit and then delete. And that removes it from the document and you can make a new one. And then also if you need to delete like your signatures too, if you click on that signature button again and a little X pops up next to it, you can just click that and remove the signatures. So that way you're not having like a ton of them in there. Yeah, so all this functionality comes free on the Mac. It's just through that preview uh, software that's on your Mac already pre-built in. Um, most of the time, if unless you've uh, changed the settings on your Mac, uh, whenever you double click like a PDF document that's sent to you through email or whatever, it should automatically open it up in the preview functionality. But like I did at the beginning of the video, if you have it set to something else, you can always click command spacebar um, to find that preview software in the Mac and use that for that purpose. And it's great because then you don't have to pay for like a special software like DocuSign or anything like that in order to uh, sign documents yourself. Obviously there's other reasons you would have DocuSign if you're depending on how you're running a business or running your business. So hope that helped you guys out. Hope you got something from it. Uh, please like and subscribe really helps uh, the channel and then comment below if that helped you or if you have any further questions you can let me know and I can try and help you even more.